Modern Medicine, a branch of science that seeks to serve humanity through a combination of technology and centuries of accumulated knowledge and experience. Scientists are discovering new facts every day and developing new means of treatment in research centers that have been established with an enormous amount of investment. But, let us now go back some 1400 years into the past, where none of our present-day advantages apply, and technological equipment doesn't exist. Yet, there is a light that has been held up to the world of medicine from those days up until today. It is the health advice and exemplary practices that our prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, imparted to his community, and it occupies a wide place in the world of medicine today. Our prophet Muhammad was exceedingly knowledgeable on medicine, as he was in all other fields, and was exemplary for all the worlds. The advice that has come down to us today by means of the Hadith reveals that our blessed Prophet was aware of many diagnoses established by present-day medicine. This, of course, is thanks to the intellect and inspiration bestowed on him by God. The majority of our Prophet's advice on the subject of health consists of measures that are approved today by experts. Thanks to God's flawless plan, the trillions of cells and many systems in our bodies work non-stop so that we may enjoy healthy lives. Numerous functions are at work in our bodies at the same time. Our immune system fights off microbes, while cells in our lungs permit us to breathe and cells in our stomachs work to digest the food that we may have eaten some hours before. Each one performs its functions to the letter. We are thus able to carry on living without disruption to our lives. Disorders that occur due to disruptions in our system are sufficient enough to remind us of what a great blessing health really is. Health is one of the greatest blessings bestowed on everyone by God in His power as the All-Merciful. There can be no doubt that when health is accompanied with faith, one better understands what an enormous blessing it is and how health serves as a means of offering greater thanks to God. Our Prophet revealed that being healthy was a blessing of paradise. Muat bin Abdullah relates from his father and uncle. The Prophet, may Allah bless him and bring him peace, stated that, Wealth is pleasant and does no harm if accompanied by godliness. If health is accompanied by godliness, it is superior to wealth. Being healthy is one of the blessings of paradise.
The diseases that appear in the life of this world are trials created by Almighty God for His servant. However, our Lord, the infinitely compassionate, has created all these diseases together with drug, cures, and treatment, and has thus made this trial easier. Many illnesses can be cured thanks to advanced therapies and drugs. Our Prophet also made it clear that illnesses were created together with cures and advised people to take necessary measures to ensure good health. Among these are visits to the doctor and the use of relevant medicines. The Hadith of our Prophet that deal with this subject are as follows. God has created no problem without a cure. He who knows that cure will take medicines and be freed from it, and he who does not know will continue to have that problem. But death has no cure. Khalil ibn Yasar relates, The Prophet came to inquire after a sick person. He said, Bring a doctor. They replied, O oh, Prophet, do you also tell us to call a doctor? He replied, Yes. God has sent no problem which does not have a solution. While advising his companions to be careful of their health, Prophet Muhammad also commanded them to seek out and find the best doctors when they fell ill. One event that took place emphasizes our Prophet's exemplary sensitivity on this subject. Zaid ibn Aslam relates, Someone's wound was inflamed. The Prophet brought two doctors from the tribe of the Ban al-Anmad for him. He asked them, Which of you is the better doctor? They said, That one, and then asked, O Prophet, is medicine truly auspicious and beneficial? He replied, God sent the problem. He has also sent the cure. When a believer falls ill, he prays to God for good health. As an extension of that prayer, he takes action and goes to the doctor. He begins taking medicine, but never forgets that the definitive cure actually comes from God. God has revealed this fact in the Quran, in the words of Prophet Abraham. <laughs> 